In the depths of the cosmos, where time and space intertwine, an ancient light emerges from the darkness. A light emitted over 13 billion years ago, now captured by the James Webb Telescope, as if the universe itself is narrating its story to us. This light, coming from the farthest reaches of the universe, recounts the birth of the first galaxies. Structures that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang and laid the foundation for the modern universe. JWST, with its unique ability to see infrared light, transports us to this early era. An era when the universe was still filled with neutral hydrogen fog and stars were just beginning to shine. But how does this telescope make such an immense time travel possible? It all starts with the basic physics of light. As the universe expands, the light from distant galaxies stretches, a phenomenon known as redshift, which lowers the frequency like the sound of a receding ambulance. Simply put, light that was originally blue and energetic turns red and infrared, and that's precisely where JWST comes into play. Its eyes are designed to see these stretched lights. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021 and operational since July 2022, is positioned at Lagrange Point 2, L2, a stable point in space about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth to stay away from the heat of the Sun and Earth and capture faint lights without interference. Its primary mirror, with a 6.5-meter diameter made of beryllium coated in gold, is six times larger than Hubble's and collects light with extraordinary precision. This mirror is maintained at a temperature below 50 Kelvin, approximately minus 223 degrees Celsius, to avoid producing interfering light itself achieved with a five-layer sunshield that acts like a giant umbrella, though the MIRI instrument is even colder, reaching about 7 Kelvin, minus 266 degrees Celsius, with an active cooler to detect longer infrared wavelengths. Key instruments include the Near Infrared Camera, NIRCAM, which captures deep, multicolor images and identifies potential galaxies, while the Near Infrared Spectrograph NIRSPEC, breaks down light into its color components, like passing light through a prism to separate colors, and allows us to calculate chemical composition, temperature, velocity, and even mass of galaxies. Another tool, like the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI is used for longer infrared light, helping penetrate hidden dust and reveal early structures. Together, these instruments turn JWST into a machine that not only takes beautiful images, but also provides precise scientific data. Data from programs like JADES, JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, where the telescope stares at a small patch of sky for hours to collect faint lights. The process of discovering these ancient galaxies is a story in itself. Scientists first take multi-filter images, passing light through different filters to isolate specific wavelengths and look for galaxies that suddenly disappear in shorter wavelengths. This phenomenon is known as the Lyman break, where neutral hydrogen in the early universe absorbs ultraviolet light, like an invisible wall swallowing the light. Then, with spectroscopy, the precise redshift is calculated and the galaxy's age is determined though these calculations always come with some error, depending on parameters like the universe's expansion rate and matter density, 
So consider the numbers approximate, with errors of a few tens of millions of years. This method, which JWST performs with high sensitivity, has pushed the boundaries of our knowledge, as Hubble couldn't penetrate this deeply. Hubble works mainly in visible and ultraviolet light, and is more limited for the early universe, while JWST, focusing on infrared, bypasses dust and reveals hidden galaxies. And this comparison shows how JWST has found tens of times more early galaxies than Hubble. Now, with this background, let's turn to the ancient galaxies themselves, where JWST has set new records and taken us to the closest points to the Big Bang. One of the latest candidates, MOMZ-14, based on the most recent data with an approximate redshift of 14.44, existed about 280 million years after the Big Bang, with potential errors of a few tens of millions of years when the universe was less than 2% of its current age. This galaxy, discovered by a team led by Naidu and colleagues, has an effective radius of about 74 parsecs, roughly 240 light years, and a mass of about 100 million times the sun, mostly from young energetic stars, not supermassive black holes. JWST showed its UV spectrum, rest UV lines with emphasis on nitrogen and a high N slash C ratio, indicating a young stellar population and low dust, a very negative slope beta. This result is still in final review stages, and if confirmed, it will change our understanding of rapid galaxy formation. It's like finding a cosmic infant that grew up faster than expected, and this discovery challenges models of galaxy formation because such structures shouldn't be so early and bright. A bit closer, but still ancient, JD's GSZ 14-0 has a redshift of 14.32, meaning its light has traveled over 13.5 billion years to reach us, about 290 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, part of the JD's program and discovered by a team led by Brent Robertson from the University of Santa Cruz, has a size over 1,600 light years and a brightness equivalent to hundreds of billions of stars. JWST, with NIR spec, revealed its chemical composition, dominated by hydrogen and helium, but ALMA, in March 2025, found traces of oxygen in it. Oxygen indicates that first-generation stars formed quickly and produced heavy elements, aiding our understanding of cosmic chemistry. And then there's JD's GSZ-14-1 with a redshift of about 14.18, around 300 million years after the Big Bang, which is smaller but its brightness indicates a star formation burst, where stars are born at high speeds and produce ultraviolet light. Or JD's GSZ-13-1 with redshift 13.0, appearing 330 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery is a real surprise. JWST saw strong Lyman Alpha emission from hydrogen in it, a light that should have been absorbed by the neutral hydrogen fog of the early universe, but apparently the fog around it was cleared. It's like a lamp suddenly turning on in a foggy room and pushing the mist aside. This phenomenon is known as reionization, 
a process where massive stars or black holes ionize hydrogen and make the universe transparent. This discovery shows reionization started earlier than we thought, perhaps by first-generation stars, population 3, that were 100 times the sun's mass with short lives but intense radiation. Scientists aren't sure yet what the source of this radiation is, but future JWST programs are planned to investigate further, for example, in Cycle 4 from July 2025, which includes deeper searches for these phenomena. Beyond these, JWST has found other candidates like Amore 6, which, according to a preprint in July 2025, may be one of the first pristine galaxies, meaning almost without heavy elements like carbon or oxygen, just hydrogen and helium from the Big Bang, and this requires more spectroscopy to confirm. Also, in the Uncover program, JWST identified dozens of small galaxies that played a key role in ryanization 800 million years after the Big Bang. These starburst galaxies with stellar explosions acted like tiny cosmic engines clearing the fog. But not everything is without challenges. Initially, JWST showed galaxies that seemed too large and bright, questioning standard cosmology models. Like, how did such giants form so early? However, research published by NASA showed that some of these galaxies are less massive than initially thought, as their light comes from young stars, not high mass, which saves the models but remains controversial. And these findings challenge models of early galaxy formation and may require revising parameters. These discoveries go beyond record-breaking. They help us understand how the universe went from darkness to light. For example, Galaxies like Jade's GSZ 14-0 show that star formation happened earlier and faster, perhaps due to higher density of dark matter in the early universe, whose gravity gathered gases. Organic prebiotic molecules can provide building blocks for pre-life. This suggests cosmic chemistry could have scattered potential seeds. JWST has also captured early collisions, like the merger of five galaxies 800 million years after the Big Bang, where JWST's near-infrared images show interaction and a shared gas halo with strong radiation, a phenomenon that explains cosmic structures and analysis of its effects continues. As such, mergers in the infant universe are rare and could indicate rapid growth. With each new observation, like the largest cosmic map with 800,000 galaxies in June 2025 by Cosmos Web, JWST brings us closer to the moment of birth, where from the heart of darkness, the light of hope shines for understanding our origins. This map combining over 10,000 exposures, shows early galaxies appearing 10 times more than expected, aiding understanding of ryanization, the era when the universe transitioned from neutral fog to transparent space. This telescope not only shows the past, but rewrites the future of cosmology, and with its mission continuing for decades, more wonders await. For example, in future programs like searching for Population 3 or further examining pristines. These discoveries, compiled from data by NASA, ESA, and journals like Nature and the Astrophysical Journal, highlight JWST's power in exploring the unknown. Each galaxy is like a chapter in the Book of the Cosmos, and JWST is turning its earliest pages. Share your opinion in the comments.
Thanks for your attention.